Hey guys, Brennan Mejia here, the Red Ranger from Power Rangers Dino Charge. And I have just one question. What's going on with Power Rangers? Well, unfortunately, I do not have any concrete answers to that question, but I do have a couple of theories. So I wanna talk about what Hasbro is doing in my opinion and why, what I would be doing with Power Rangers myself going forward, and if I would return to the series as Tyler Navarro or maybe another character entirely. Let's get into it. So it's kind of strange what Hasbro is doing from an outside perspective. They're mixing up the formula. You know, it's basically, we have two seasons of a type of Power Rangers, you know, like Dino Charge, and Dino Supercharge, Ninja Steel, Super Ninja Steel. You just throw Super in the name, apparently, unless you're, you know, Cosmic Fury, then you get Dino Fury to Cosmic Fury. But my point being, where's the follow-up to Cosmic Fury? Nothing's been announced. We don't actually know for sure what they're gonna do. So there's been a lot of different rumors flying around. I've heard a multitude of rumors from different sources and different people. So I'm gonna try to sift through some of those in this video so we can try to uncover a little bit of truth. What I think Hasbro is doing, initially, I believe they were gonna try, as you guys may or may not know, move on to putting their stuff directly to Netflix. They started doing that with some of Cosmic Theory, I believe, with some of the later episodes. It went straight to Netflix instead of Nickelodeon, then Netflix. So they had a deal, is my understanding, with Netflix, but it fell through for whatever reason. Typically, they just say creative differences, which means basically what it sounds like. Someone in a position of power and someone else in a position of power did not agree on the final product or what it would come out to be, so they parted ways. Now that Netflix fell through, that seems to be when we got this whole hiatus pause deal where everyone's like, well, what's happening now? I think after Netflix fell through, the reason they're not jumping immediately into like, well, don't they wanna make money and sell toys and all that? If you look at the intellectual property or the IP of Power Rangers, the ones that tend to sell the most, or if you go to conventions, the lines that tend to be longer are still Mighty Morphin. You know, unlike Ninja Turtles, where it's basically always the four same turtles, and occasionally you get extra turtles and certain spin-offs or versions of Ninja Turtles, but everyone knows the original four, right? With Power Rangers, there's so many different iterations for better or for worse, but people always tend to remember Mighty Morphin. You know, they kicked off the whole thing, especially with Boom Studios and the comics, you know, making stories to continue their arcs. Um, you know, they're the ones that had the original movie in theaters and then Turbo, which had a lot of the original cast in it, uh, even though it wasn't Mighty Morphin, so to speak. But basically in people's brains, when you think of Power Rangers, or at least for me, you think of Mighty Morphin and then maybe other seasons as well. So I'm guessing that they realize that they don't need to introduce newer IPs constantly. So they're like, why not just focus on the IPs that are making a lot of money? I get that from a business point. It hurts me as a fan, but I understand it. So that's some of the reasons why I think Hasbro is doing what they're doing. But now let's pivot to what I would do and how I would continue Power Rangers. So for me, I definitely would jump into the animated version of it. Not that I would kill live action if money would allow me to do both, but animation would allow them to even bring back a lot of the original Rangers to voice themselves. I mean, that would be amazing, you know, to have a bunch of short, like, series, or even if they did animated movies. So they could do a Mighty Morphin Trilogy, or they could do a Dino Charge one-off movie, and then they can kind of see which ones uh, garner interest and then make sequels or not without losing a lot, because they don't have to pay, you know, for locations and permits and background actors and props and train a bunch of stunt people for the fights. And again, I love all that stuff and I love live action. I would, I wish they could do both, but again, if they physically can't afford it, at least do animated then. Don't just like let Power Rangers die because there's so much that can be done and they could do multiple versions of it. I mean, how many different Spider-Man cartoons have there been? How many, you know, Justice League or, you know, then they had the Teen Titans and they had another version of Teen Titans and then they had uh, Injustice or, you know, that's a video game. Point being, there's a lot of untapped potential, I feel, going the animated route and then using actors to voice themselves. I would also see if they could do, or if I was in charge of it, have, comic book series like they do, but have it to where it's basically narrated by, again, the actors of Power Rangers. How cool would it be to have like interactive comics where you have like Dino Charge, like Tyler's, basically like it's written in such a way where we're reading out 
the lines. And then so, you know, maybe it's like a, a graphic novel that your phone like moves through the pages for you with voice acting. That would be amazing in my opinion. And they could do audiobooks too, straight up full audiobooks of Power Rangers. Then they could bring in a bunch of different writers. That gets a bunch of writers work. Again, it gets voice actors work. I just think it'd be another way to utilize it. And then jumping into video games. If they made RPGs to the level of like, you don't have to go as far as Skyrim or something, but just where you can like build your own Power Ranger. I thought I saw a scrap thing posted on um, social media like a year or two ago where they had an idea they were gonna do something like that and then they didn't. But what if you could, you know, choose different voices that are inspired or actually voice actors that were different rangers and then you could build your own ranger but the team you were on was like already scripted and voice acted so like you could be your own ranger and then you join dino charge for a, uh, like a specific mission kind of like take kingdom hearts where he jumps around with different you know disney characters but you would jump around with different power ranger teams i think that'd be amazing and i literally just thought of that but yeah let's do that so those are some of the ideas i would do if we couldn't do the live action part as much but even if you had a little bit of money for live action Go the movie route, or like I mentioned, go the um, limited series release route where it's maybe, again, I'm using Dino Charge just because, you know, it's mine, like five episodes, but like 40 minute long episodes instead of just 20 minutes where half of it's a Megazord battle. That would be cool too, because then you could tell movie level, trilogy level kind of stories, but then jump to another season entirely or mix and match. Like there's so much they could do that they aren't doing. And I'm sure always money comes into it and I get that. But then they could also sell the toys and like I mentioned, sell cosmetics based off of it and have a Power Ranger in Fortnite with a Megazord or something. That'd be cool. So again, amongst the other rumors mixed with facts is the idea of rebooting Power Rangers entirely. You know, the 30 years, kind of throw it out the window and then do something new. I personally don't love that idea. Because again, the nostalgia for me is tied into the characters I grew up with. And now if you just change them, even if you kept them as Mighty Morphin, but Billy was now some guy named Brandon or something, like to me, not that there couldn't be cool stories to tell and not that they couldn't do that in some version, like we talked about having multiple storylines going with different animated series, but I wouldn't make that the primary focus. I personally still like the idea of there being continuity. You know, if they want to keep going with the Shattered Grid thing, the whole multiverse, that's cool, but still have a core team. You know, maybe they can reboot the idea of how that core team starts, but I still like the whole Tommy, Kimberly, Billy, Zach, you know, Trini, all that kind of stuff, and then branching from there as they want to. And then they can introduce new characters if they want, but there's so many stories to tell with the characters that are already in existence, in my opinion, that you don't need to go looking for new characters fully, unless you're doing a fully new Power Rangers team following Cosmic Fury or something that's supposed to precede Mighty Morphin. So if they did decide to reboot it though, them as being Hasbro, I don't think they would let me back per se if they rebooted it, unless they rebooted it in such a way where the universe has people from the original universe, but we're all different people. You know, like in multiverses where like Clark Kent isn't Superman in this specific universe or something, but he's still, Clark Kent still exists. So if they had a Tyler Navarro who wasn't the Dino Charge Red, but still exists in the world, that would be cool. I'd be down to do that. Or maybe I have amnesia or maybe I see like the version of me that was a Power Ranger in some like dimensional rift and then it inspires me to be a hero, but I can't be a hero the normal way because maybe Energems don't exist in my personal world. So then I build the power connection to the grid myself or I find a, a Zeo crystal or I don't know however they want to do it or could do it. But I definitely think it would be cool to come back in that way or at least if they're gonna continue it in some way, maybe it's like 10 years down the line where obviously I look older because Energems are supposed to keep us from aging, but maybe Tyler's Energem disappeared into space with Keeper. It'd be cool to be a mentor, you know, who could still fight, but like isn't a Power Ranger, you know? So I have no ability to morph, but I could do a bunch of civilian fights and then like teach the team about teamwork and all that stuff, that'd be fun. If I had the choice to come back though, I, think I would lean towards reprising my role as Tyler Navarro, but in different circumstances. Not that I wouldn't love to come back with my team, but I think it'd be pretty cool if Tyler somehow got separated from the team. Maybe he went on a mission or fell through a dimensional rift or something, and now he's with a full new team 
or maybe a couple of us got sucked in. Cause you know, I always like hanging out with Yoshi. So he can come with me too. <laughs> but you know, just a way so they don't have to be like, well, there's 10 of you. So why aren't all 10 of you in every episode? If they wanted to like whittle down the number, but they still let me come back. I think it'd be cool to have some like dark gritty version where, cause Tyler tends to be such a positive character. I would love to see how he interacted in a world that was more grim, more like Power Rangers RPM, where, you know, it's like apocalyptic, not, hey guys, let's go make some burgers, you know, like, oh, happy. Um, but more like that energy all of a sudden hits where it's all darkness and doom and gloom. Like, would it change Tyler? Would Tyler change it? I'd love to see that. So I know one of the other hot topics with Power Rangers is the tone needs to change. Because a lot of people are like, well, no, it has to stay what it is because that's what has made it so successful. Others say, no, it needs to grow with the fan base that grew up on it. I see elements to both. And I would like them to see versions where they cater to both. Hence, the, again, the idea of multiple variations. Even if the animated version went campy and the live action went dark or maybe vice versa, that would be cool too. I don't think they need to try to cater to both perfectly because then I think you lose both. So, you know, if you watch like CW, The Flash or Arrow, Arrow was the darker version, even though The Flash had dark moments too, but Grant Gustin's character was always positive. So I think it'd be cool if they did it in that kind of way where like there's real life consequences, you know, you can actually bleed instead of just getting dirt on you when you get beat up, but it's still about the good guys winning at the end of the day. I think that would still be a good mix. Maybe then they could kind of cater to both in that sense. But I think if they try to do both too much, then you end up tripping the tone, but it can happen. Like Avengers did a great job with it, you know, with being Spider-Man is still Spider-Man, but there's, you know, a universal level threat with Thanos. So kids still watch that obviously, but the adults watched it and were like, this is amazing. And the kids are like, yay, Spider-Man. So again, it, it could come down to the talent of the writers and the actors. So it is possible but if it isn't done well, I'd rather just see them do it separately. <laughs> Regardless of what happens with Power Rangers, I'll continue to be a fan and to support it. So I'm excited to see what happens down the road. But as always Hasbro, if you want me back, I'm just a phone call away. And if you don't have my number, you can look me up on Instagram at Brennan Mejia. Just kidding, but not really, but slightly, but kind of, but maybe not. But yes, you should, it'd be cool. If you only know me from Power Rangers, but you wanna see some of the other roles I've played, watch this video.